Okay, gearing up for round one here. We won the die roll, so we're gonna go into play. We have a lot left troll. We'll we'll battle. Probably not playing this until turn three, though. Still don't need creatures, I just need to write its regeneration clause to victory. He's probably playing Bant. Ooh. So if he's playing Bant, he can't remove Troll until turn three. And he'll do that with a detention sphere, so I can actually play my uh, troll and then the underworld connections. And that'll be better for me. Like underworld connections, my swamp attack, then leap up and regeneration mana for his turn four. Okay, drew another dread boar for all the angels he might draw. <laughs> And every single one of my lands produces black mana. So that's pretty good. Sink of fate. Okay. I could have played around that, but I wasn't really expecting it because a lot of people just don't play Sink of fate anymore because it's pretty mediocre in control mirrors. And the format is mostly control. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't, couldn't have played around it this turn either, because I want to rid of regeneration mana. So I think just jamming it on turn 3 is defensible. This is a Jace. Got some Dread Wars for you, Mr. Jace. Ooh, a Demon. I'm going to Dread Wars Jace before he gets to draw extra cards off it. Close to this is our model room. Should be up next turn. Next turn I can play a demon and leap of regeneration mana. Okay, so he can counter this. And I can't do anything to stop it. Then I've counter spell. Granted, the only one most people play is uh what's it called? Cancel Sync Fate Charm for sure. Actually, people don't really play counter spells anymore now that I think about it. It's just mostly trying to outdo the other person. I have a lot of Dread Wars in my hand. Well, he's at 9. Maybe I'll go the distance. Or he'll Revelations for 3. He needs to draw a Detention Sphere for my troll. If he plays Angel here, he can't get any creatures back, so it's not that big a deal. Sky Knight's not that big a deal either. Okay, I've drawn all my removal. Just about. <laughs> I should have put some regeneration shields on my troll in response to the Sky Knight. But I didn't think about it. Minus two? He's got a minus two now. Yeah. And I don't want him to have the Armada Room, so. If he takes Forced Q, then I'm fine with that. I guess a better question is what these all are move on. If I uh, Dreadbore his Chase, I can't Dreadbore the Skynet, but he can't really block with it anyway, so. Oh, he took the Forced and the Key Room. Why are you living up in 3 mana if you took a key run? The only thing I can think of is Azorius Charm. Which is fine, I can't play around that. I'm attacking him because I found a Dread War in his chase. I need to get all the damage I can in before I become irrelevant. Which is pretty quickly, to be honest. I'm gonna have to abrupt decay his token. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't take the uh, armada worm. That's right. 
This is the smallest little troll. There's the big angel. Getting like zero value. It's the largest fiend hunter I've ever seen. Ooh, how much is this for? Might as well do it now while I can't syncopate it. Let's also make some discard. Most of his hand, not all of it. All but one card. So then I take eight and go to heh, two verdicts in hand. So there's the forest and the key rune I knew about. I think that was the forest I knew about. That uh, didn't tell me. Ironically, I have to erupt decay his one of these two, probably the key rune. That way I can tread for his Sky Knight. If I draw a rock this return, he's dead. So come on, rock this return. No. There must have been the card he kept from the, the return. Can't even think about this. Actually, I can have six. I don't have any spell to cast. So, is to deal with this or he's dead? It doesn't look like he has anything. Was Ori's trying, maybe? It's the only thing I can think of. Uh, that's such a charm. Yeah, that works too. Ironically, if he draws a creature, I have to draw a real spell, or I'm dead to it. Oh no, don't be an Armada Worm. Please don't be an Armada Worm. Uh, Revelation, that sucks. Uh, angel is a little worse. I think it's another Angel back. <laughs> and, you know, kills me. So I need to draw a Rockdus Return, or... I think that's yeah. all I can draw, right? Rectus return. Yeah, I already drew all my dead boys. Demon. Actually, demon works. Demon's fine. He can sacrifice his angel and play this his other angel, and then remove my desecration demon. But that gives me another turn to draw Rectus return, which I'm basically all in on at this point. I guess if he draws a key rune or something, he can sacrifice that and kill me. A key rune or a sky knight. Yep, he's sacrificing it. Man, now my angel's turn is even larger. Nice. Of course, now I just place the angel and gets my demon. At least I hope that's fine. What's he doing? <clears throat> I could draw Underworld Connections. That would help me draw a Rockdust Return. Actually, I'm at one, aren't I? Yeah, I can't draw even. Yeah, so these Underworld Connections are just dead draws. Drag Mangler doesn't do it either. Since he's not at three, he's at five. 
Uh, I should have played the angel. Three, four. Maybe he has a land. I don't know. I do another demon. Well, might as well get in some damage. I guess I'm dead either way. It doesn't actually matter what he played. Because now he just plays the angel and kills me. After his end of turn, Sphinx is Revolution. For zero reason. We'll see if he wants to sacrifice his life, Sky Knight. Or remove these creatures, I'm just dead here. I don't like conceding in case they misclick, but it's like a pretty bad method. Yeah, we got it. These slaughter games are coming in. Instead of these, I don't know. Probably the manglers, actually. The shamans aren't that good. Uh, Gokari Charm. There's actually a lot of cards I want to board in, but I don't actually want to board them. They cards out. And the ultimate price isn't that good, since I have four Dread Boars and four Breath Decays. Uh, I want the Charm just for regenerating creatures and killing the enchantment that removes the Decision Sphere. And I still want the trolls. The decays, yep, I think this is fine. Maybe I'll take out our dread boar. We don't have that many creatures. I can just play a mangler instead. Oh, better yet. Let's play a yeah, a mangler. Oh what more synergy with my troll. Like Jace isn't that big a deal. Like it's a pretty good card, but it's not It's not that good. Okay, yeah, I want to play this game too. Mangler, the demon, sure. Tens, we'll mulligan to six. Just want to keep going, cause I would enjoy some easy games. <laughs> I finally got four days, so maybe I can play this deck next next uh, event. I could play around Syncopate, or I could just jam Mangler. I think jamming Mangler is the plan, though. I need to get in damage as fast as possible. And I will play around Syncopate by killing Underworld Connections next turn. And also, like, they play, like, two Syncopates, maybe? And he has it. That's fine. <laughs> Like, I don't think I have the luxury of playing anything of eight. Especially when Underworld Connection is the better card to resolve. Even though I don't get the scavenge from Dragon Mingler. Oh, I got my Underworld. Ooh, there we go. So... Can't, I don't know if I want to jam this right this turn. I got really excited, but it's probably not the play. Like, he only has three lands, he's stuck on mana, so that means I will end with this. I want to get Angel Serenity or uh, Sphinx's Revelation, and those cost a bunch more mana than he currently has, so there's no real reason to play this right now. Whereas, I could just play Desecration Demon and force him to deal with that first. And then next turn, leave open. If he misses a land drop again, I can leave open Gogari Charm and draw a card. I 
I need to reland. He attacks I'm blocking. There's no way he doesn't like. Yeah, okay. My school guard charm's pretty good now. I can kill both of his sky knights. <laughs> Draw a card off this and play my guild gate. And end of turn, I will use charm to kill his creatures. Since I'm not gonna assume he doesn't attack. I mean, he probably does, he has wrath, but then I'll just use charm to regenerate my creatures. This is a JM Sphinx Relation for one. Okay. It's the best kind of Sphinx Relation. Four mana cantrip, gain a life. Okay. I'm not gonna save for wrath because you can just double block my guy. And now I can revelation or sorry, return for four, which puts him at very few cards in hand. Which is good enough for me. Three, four. Next game, slaughter games for Angel. Discard a lot of charms. Must have some way to deal with this out of hand. Uh, Spring verdict. I guess I'll just start taking up this Vraska. Oh, well, action draw card first. I have that ability. Yeah, I guess I'll just start taking up this Vraska. <laughs> oh, it's not that big a deal. I probably want to get his revelations with this one, so he can't draw into lands and angels. Also, he probably plays four revelations and only like a few. Uh, what's it called? Sphinx of the Revelation? Probably lost search for Sphinx then. Sphinx. Sphinx is Bulnord. Sphinx is Revelation. Oh wow, he plays four angels and only two, three revelations? That can't be right. Get this one too. Whenever I look at someone's library, I always use a little image capture program to keep track of what their deck is. I guess I could pull out his graveyard for a more complete viewing. So I guess it gives me a thing to refer to. So he boarded in Sundering Roots to get my Underworld connections. And he has two key ruins that are Zorius and one that's Celestia. Oof. Only two Sky Knights, four Smiters, two Verdicts, and three Distinction Spheres. So he's like all in on very large creatures this game. Which I guess is a good plan. Yeah. I wasn't worried about Armada Worm because he didn't have any mana. I could have drawn a card first in case I wanted to play another Drag Wrangler. Yeah, now I'm just gonna slam this rock as for time now. Two, one. And dead? Nope, he's a syncopate. He's playing four of them. One, two, three, plus the one he used is four. Okay, he's dead. I'm just going to kill him with this, so I don't have to give him another turn. Yeah, red and black spells. I like them quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so he's playing an infinite number of syncopates and large creatures. So, I think... Dread War is going to be pretty good. He's just playing Smiters and such. Actually, might want Mesium Orders. Uh, 
I still want Kokari Charm, though Mangler seems worse than Demon now. That I know is true plan. Uh, Underworld Connections is very good that game. Maybe we just want to like take out the trolls. Uh, that can't be right. Trolls are very hard for him to deal with. I was gonna say like play a slower game by connectionings up to a return and relying on Demon and Drag Mangler, but I don't actually have enough of that to rely on. So I'm just gonna put the troll back in, put the demon back out. I'm trying to decide if the third, the fourth connections is better than a third mangler, because that's what I sideboard it out for. Because I definitely want the slaughter games, the Vraska, the returns, and the key runes. I'm not sure if the remote will sweep. Maybe I'll take out like an abrupt decay, because I have the charm and Vraska for another mangler. Well, I'll take out two of them actually. He has key runes, that's the only thing I can't deal with with uh, Dreadmore. Mm. Let's see if that's fine. I have to log in his hand really quickly. No pressure at all. And he wins all the long games that we play. Like with this setup, infinite smiters and large creatures. I'm not going to play the troll until next turn. I actually probably should have just jammed it. Yeah, you're right. Because I could have left open the mana to... He couldn't kill it with anything but a... Uh, a detention sphere. Now I'm playing around Think of it for the first time in my life. Smiter? Key room. I'm going to pay 2 life for this so I can resolve my key rune. I didn't discard anything to the troll, because I think I want that trip mingler for leader. And my plan is just rock dust return him next turn. Hopefully he plays like a Jace or something I don't care about. Sundering Grove. Oops, I accidentally have sixed. Nope. You didn't realize it. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna sign this mangler, since I don't have any mana to cast any things I want to. I think that's what he's going to do. No, act of fiction. I guess I'll just take the two forests. I'd rather have two forests than a white source. Because he's more loaded by uh, white mana than anything else, than green mana. I guess I'll attack Jace then. He can make a charm blocker. But that's a pretty poor use of charm. When he knows I have a bunch of demons in my deck. I'm enchanting the kill gate instead of the forest because I want to leave with regeneration mana. But I can't pass up drawing the card. A lot of room. Yep. Hmm. This kind of sucks. Because I don't have enough lands to battle his Armada Worm. I guess I'll just dread bore his token because he has Sundering Growth for my Underworld Dreams or connections. I don't want him to Sundering Growth my connections and get another Worm token. 
and then I'll double block the armada room if he lets me. You could have slowed your turn here, it doesn't actually change anything. One, two, three, you could also have Angelus already, but I'm pretty sure you play that Toastcon, pre combat. Like Angelus trying to get his water model run back and to kill my troll. He got in for one damage there. Maybe he just has another armada in. It seems a lot more likely. Yeah. I need to draw the untapped land. One more rock doses returns. <laughs> uh, that's not ideal. Let's see, I can hit him for four, then hit him for, if I draw land, five, which is only nine. So I need to, I need to do something here. I think I need to Vraska his token. Wait, let my troll be exposed to. Granted, only thing it'd be exposed to is a uh, Supreme Verdict. I might just attack Vraska, though I doubt it. Okay, now I can play Zangdal Serenity. Which is another good reason not to kill the Armada Worm. Yep, looks like this is an angel. Man. Not out of this game yet, but it's not looking good. <laughs> it's attacking me. Just puts me on a zero turn clock of being dead. Gosh, draw so many Vraskas. I uh, guess I can kill them both and go very charm to give them minus one minus one so I survive it too. But then he just plays Armada Arm again. Survive at one. Maybe he'll tap out for something. Oh no, if he plays it, he just activates the key rune. I mean, I die, but he didn't realize it. Yeah, that was probably bad. I should have activated under rule connections. Please don't have slicing your turn. That would get me. Yeah, can't do anything. Nope. Well, nope. that's game. Kind of unfortunate. I drew a lot of land, or didn't draw enough lands. But I don't think that game was the worst. Like, if you fall behind, you just lose. That's very true in this format. And I missed a lot of land drops, so I couldn't use these insane cards against him. Like, I wasn't ever gonna do it for two because he would discard half his hand, and then kept going. <laughs> so I would rather save it for like four or five and then I just kept drawing more instead of lands, so I'm not unhappy with the way I played this match. Yet. I could probably look at the replay and be horrified. But I'll just wait until round two.